This is another epoxy mad science laboratory. Let's try and make our own epoxy rocks to create a geode. Grab your personal protection equipment and start by selecting your additives in the colors that you would best suit for that project. Then mix a large batch of epoxy and grab some large molds. The shape and depth doesn't matter, but if you don't have any big molds, just use a big piece of plastic or ceram wrap. You can also use a trash bag or a piece of shower curtain even. Lay that out flat, then just pour the epoxy directly on top of it and spread it out very thin. Now you're gonna to wanna to let it cure overnight just so it is starting to firm up and get hard, but you also don't wanna let it cure so hard that it's fully cured. You're gonna to wanna to do the next step while it's still setting up. If it's fully cured, it's gonna be real hard to break into the epoxy rocks. Here's where I show you I'm just pouring it straight onto a piece of saran wrap. The epoxy won't stick to the saran wrap, so it acts as the base of a silicone mold. So again, if you don't have a silicone mold, this is a great option. Since it's just saran wrap or a thin sheet of plastic, you can use a piece of cardboard to slide underneath it to transport it where you need to leave it to cure. Once it's firm, peeling it away from the plastic and off the silicone mat are the best. Removing it from the mold or plastic is one of my favorite parts of the process. Then I'm gonna use tin snips because they're really nice and strong and that's what I'm gonna to use to cut up my pieces into the epoxy rocks. I start by making large chunks and then I continue to cut until they're small. The size you make is totally up to you. They're gonna have rough edges, but those are gonna shine back up once we cover it in epoxy again. Your goal is to have these look like glass chips or crystal pieces. This is to create the geode style design. These look pretty good and I'm excited to put these into use and see how they come out in the final result. I'm gonna be using these to overhaul my rolling tool tray. Thoroughly sand your project, then clean it and spray paint it a base color. Once your base coat is dry, start drawing out a rough shape for your geode. The shape you use is totally personal preference. Then I'm gonna use acrylic paint to go back in and paint the base of the geode. That way, if there's an uncovered spot with the epoxy rocks, the color is still gonna blend really well. Once that paint is in place and fully dry, you're gonna mix some small batches of epoxy and pour the first color of epoxy rocks directly into it. Then stir it up to coat them. You only need a very thin layer on each rock. Then, once those are coated, start to place them in the desired spot. Those coated epoxy rocks will fuse together and bond to the surface when that epoxy cures. Now, I'm using the rocks here as a geode, but you can use the epoxy rocks for all sorts of different projects. You can submerge them in large molds or place them on like stained glass or mosaic pieces. Continue each step with each different color of your epoxy rocks placing them in your desired locations. Then once all your epoxy rocks are where you like them, go ahead and let this sit for a full 72 hours so it fully cures before you move to the next step. You don't wanna accidentally dislodge any of your epoxy rocks because that's just gonna cause a headache. So let it fully cure before the next step. To add the final touches, I'm using triple thick to apply glitter to the rest of the remaining surface of the cart. Start by applying a very thin layer of the triple thick then just dump your glitter right over the top and make sure it's thoroughly coated. Once that's completely dry, you can seal it in with another layer of tripothic or a very thin coat of epoxy. And just like that, it's all finished. Now, I'm gonna say that this experiment was a total hit. The epoxy rocks turned out perfect. They turned out to be exactly what we needed for this project. We'll see you guys here next week for another Epoxy Mad Science Laboratory with Superfly DIY.